Well, we're going to draw the fat rat today. Take your hand and go, yay! yay. Look at my students. I have all hundred students in the room. Yay! All right, well, we're, here we are. We're at the Woodlands Art League, and we are going to draw the fat rat. So, if you're ready, we'll start by blocking it in and sketch it in. I'm going to I'm gonna draw the rats. Well, let's draw the rat's face first. Let's draw the rat's draw his head. And... That's going to be his head. We're going to draw his body here, but watch this. Let me zoom out just a bit because I'm going to draw his head. And I'm going to take this head and I'm going to draw his nose coming down here. Draw his snout. By the shape of our rat's face. Now, here's what we're going to draw. See, we're going to draw this guy right here. See? So, there's, so we draw his big chubby body all around him coming around here. So here's his body. I'm kind of, I'm drawing mine kind of big. Usually I draw a lot. I'm not going to have much room at the bottom, see, for his legs. Now, let's block it. So this will be, this is the, the rat. Let's draw his nose. And then when I color in the nose, I'm going to leave a little reflection in the nose. Excuse me. Now, right down, just so I'll put a little reflection right there. And then I'm going to just darken that in. Let's get that nice contrast. I'm going to draw the nice chubby rat. Now, this one's going to use a lot of texture and a lot of contour lines on the rat's tail. So, now, here's contour right here on the mask. Like he's going to be a ninja rat. So, I'm going to draw these, the curving line for his mask. See this? We're going to make this guy. And he's going, hey... What are you doing? Yeah, what's up? Okay. So the eyes, I'm going to draw these eyes, and they're looking straight at you, so they're going to be the same size. Now, if I put one eye, if he's tilting his head, one of the eyes would be smaller than the other one. But since he's looking right at you, maybe I'll have him looking up, and we'll look over to the left. And I'll go in, Again, I'll leave a little reflection line at the top. See that? I'll leave a little reflection line up here at the top. Isn't that cool? Now, <clears throat> let's take this and let's darken in our ninja rat's mask. Our little fat rat. I'm not fat, I'm husky. So this guy... Let's darken that in. That's nice contrast. See, that's a, a different value. That is a value. All right, now, for his ears, I think I want to... Uh, you can put both ears up. I think I'm going to flop one ear down. Do a little S-curve. Kind of make one ear flopping down, and then I'll have this, this ear kind of going up. Just to give it a little bit of variety like that. Okay? A little bit of variety. Now, the rats, look at the ear. Draw the helix. The rats have ears just like you do. You have a helix, and this guy has a helix too. So you have ears that are the same as a rat, same as a horse, same as a dog. They, they have a helix. They have a concha too, just like you. See that little concha right there? See that? And then right here, see this little concha right here? Little concha. Now, let's take this and let's put the texture. I love the texture. Put the texture. Draw the texture. See, texture gives your draw surface a feel. You're drawing that surface feel. Like if you're drawing a tree, you would draw the you would draw the bark and the leaves and the twigs, the texture, right? Put a little shadow up there on the on the rats. Ear, and then his hands. Look, he's kind of little. Let's proportionally. Let's make his arms tiny and taper them out to his hand. That'll be his hand here. And I'm gonna. I'll put this hand up too, like the ear. See this one. And see, they're tiny compared to the body, so it'll make the body look much bigger. That's like if you draw a building and you draw a small windows, it makes the building look huge. Okay. 
So draw the draw the hands. Now see the thumb. The thumbs are always going to be up, unless you're see. Re take your hand. Reach out like you're going to shake somebody's hand. Go ahead, do that. See how your thumb is up. See that? Or wave to somebody. See how your thumb is pointing toward your head. So he's waving. So his thumb always point. If you're waving or something, the thumb's going to point toward your head like this. You see? And then we'll just splay out the finger. It's called splaying. See what I did? Just like bananas. I just put four fingers here. <clears throat> and he's like hugging you. So I'm going to put the thumb going up. Just like he's reaching out to, to wave or to shake your hand. Then I'll put his fingers, kind of the bananas, kind of curve them out there off that. He's waving. You can put some action lines. Some action lines. Hello, hello. It says hello. And then we'll put some more texture. I'm going to put lots of texture around here. See this? Put lots of texture. Texture, texture, texture. Lots of texture. See how? Look at it. Isn't that fun? And just in a short amount of time, you got a cool character. What we're doing right here, we're developing a fun character that you can create a whole story about. You guys are going to be the author illustrators, the story creators of the, the movies of the next generation. How many of you saw the movie Frozen? Anybody see the movie Frozen? Well, I had... Yeah, 24 times. Well, I had a lot of my students from the 1980s and 1990s. They're animators with the with that movie. They animated it. Anybody see Kung Fu Panda? I had some of my students work on that from past years. See, I've been teaching for 190 years. Uh, anybody see the movie uh, Kung Fu Panda? Anybody see Madagascar? And see, I had a, some of my students worked on that. Isn't that fun? So who knows? I, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a dark shadow all along his nose right here. I'm going to do a dark. See that? I'm going to lift that shadow up. And let's take our pencil. Look, at I'm, I'm pretending the sun's coming from over here, see? You can even put the sun if you want. I seem to always put the sun right there, up in the top right. I don't know why, but for since I started teaching drawing 37 years ago, the sun's been right there. I have been stuck in a time warp right there, see? It's been 2.15 in the afternoon for all these years in my drawings. Every drawing you ever see in any of my books, the sun will be right there. All right, now let's make the back. I'm going to make the foot taper the foot down. Little teeny tiny feet tapered down here. Little teeny tiny feet. See what I'm going to do? Look at this. is what I'm going to do. See his feet? Look at that guy. We'll do that at a different lesson. But look, look at his little feet here. Now the feet I'm going to angle down. Watch this. I'm not going to go straight across. I'm going to slant them downhill. This is in direction south west. Remember the drawing compass? Remember this? Now make sure you get a copy of this. It's on my website at markkisslerlive.com. Print it up. And these are the, I put these pencils here so you get an idea. These are the four positions that artists, when they use draw characters or objects or environments, this are, these are the directions they use to refer to. See, like the feet, for instance, right here. This comes down in direction south comes down in direction southwest, and then this foot, look at not straight across, but slants down. Does that make sense? See? Look at the compass, see? Southwest, see a little foot right here. Like this, if this was a foot right here, look at it. Look, see that foot? See? Do you see that? Little foot right there. Maybe this foot. Little sock. Okay, maybe make that foot a little bigger. Okay, see right here, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going I'm to draw the little foot like a little sock coming down here, and I'm going to darken that in, I'm going to darken that and just slant it down, isn't that fun, someone said, that's fun, really, I, I heard nothing, Is, are you having fun, Kate, Kendall, okay, here, here, look at, put a shadow, I love this, I'm going to, you know what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a shadow under the whole rat. What do you think, Rebecca? Is this awesome? Is this a great fat rat? That's awesome. You guys are so polite and quiet. You're freaking me out. Now, you have a shadow. I love it. Now, we're going to use our stompy a lot. Watch this. I'm going to take my stompy. Let's leave the eyes white, but I'm going to shade the ears. See this? I'm going to shade the side of the face. Look, I'm going to put a little more shadow coming off. His, see this? And look at how nice this blends. Isn't that nice? And then I'll go ahead and use the stompy for the hands. 
And I'm going to roll my stompy around in the shadow to really get the shadow. And then you can blend the, all the edges just to give it that cool look here. And then I define, I darken in my edges. Oh, that's so cool. Now, all we need to do now is we have to add that cool tail. I'm going to take his tail and wrap it around like that. We'll get a nice rat's tail. And with the way it looks like a rat is those contour lines. See those curving lines? Contour. Now, just by the direction, just by the way that you curve those lines, you'll be able to tell what direction that's going. For instance, look when we drew the mummy. See when we drew the mummy? Look at this. I'm going to be at Comic Palooza this year in Houston. If you I hope you join me. Look at the contour lines. See, see how they get bigger? See how it moves away? See how it comes towards you? Depending on what direction you draw those contour lines. Look at these. Here's a good lesson for contour. Look at the penguin. Look at that, Kendall. You see his toes? Just by the direction of the toes, I, uh, by the direction of the curve, it gives it shape. Look at the doggy. See it? Uh, the ears are turning different directions. Look at the pretzel. Just by changing the direction of the curve, I change the direction of the object. So let's go ahead and <clears throat> draw. Now it's going to get a little bit thinner as it comes down toward the tail, toward the end. There's a little tail, and we're going to put contour lines, right? So I'm going to curve these lines a lot. Curve, curve, curve. What do you think, Kendall? Do you love it? That's great. Curve it all the way. These are contour lines. Give it shape and volume. And then we'll take, let's take our stompy. And I'm going to give the whole tail, look at I'm going to give it a whole value, a whole tone. There you go. Isn't that fun? Now, I always love putting a horizon line to give it to give you a reference of where he's sitting. And you don't have to do this, but I sometimes I'll do this to make it look a little more interesting in the background, just to give the background a little bit of uh, value. See what I'm doing here? See that? So I'm going to come back here, and I'll turn. Sometimes it's easier to turn your paper and do it. And I'll put a little bit of background behind that tail. How'd that turn out for you here? Do you guys like it? And there's your fat rat. I love it. Hello, and this would be a great uh, paper puppet. If you left a handle, remember the paper puppets, the puppets I was showing you how to make? Remember all these little paper puppets here? Like I did one, see I did one, we made one of a fish. You leave a little handle and you rip it out. You can make a cool paper puppet out of the fat rat. You know, here's one I made out of, see I put the handle on the side so the dinosaur would come in. Hey, Hey, what's the rat doing here? You can make movies with your smartphones. You download the animation app or the editing app. All right, well, thank you for drawing with me. I had so much fun. I'll see you on the next drawing.